You've gotten on to self-improvement, you've set some fantastic goals, but why are these Jeffreys making fun of you? Why do they react to your ambition with offense, with insults, with disrespect? Adonis supports your ambition, he feeds your hunger. All men in Adonis's tribe are ambitious. You want a book recommendation that will change your life, The Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Schwartz. I read this book about two years ago. It's one of the first like self-improvement, self-helpy type of books that I read. And the general concept is you may as well set big ass, like big dick goals instead of like the small PP goals that the majority of people set. Most people have such a low perception of themselves that they set such low goals. And what happens when you set a small goal? The majority of people on YouTube will lie to you. They're the kind of people who will make videos about goal setting and they don't even set goals or obsess over them themselves. The majority of people will tell you to set small goals, realistic goals. What happens when you do that? What happens when you set the realistic goal of making 500 pounds a month through your business, you know, $500 a month online? Well, you don't achieve it. You don't burst out of bed early to go and achieve a fucking small goal. You don't sacrifice, you don't march forward through challenges and discomfort for the achievement of a small goal. So the majority of people who set a small goal or a mediocre goal never achieve them. They always give up because it's not worth it. The reward of achieving that goal is not worth the sacrifice and so they give up. The majority of people have such a poor self-image, such a, like a, a negative, small-minded view of themselves that they think they can only achieve the small and mediocre goals. But it's the men who think big. It's the men who are very ambitious, who, who have this like unlimited kind of thinking. To explain it to you, like, there was a time, maybe about six months ago, I was debating you know, the direction of my life and I was just thinking, okay, you know, what's more things? I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, not complacent, but you know, I want more, I want more challenges. And so I'm thinking about some things, I'm thinking about weightlifting and weightlifting is a very important part of my life. It's how I've built this body, which I'm so proud of. It's so important for me and it's like a habit that's totally ingrained, you know, it's something that I do. It's something that I am, I am a weightlifter, I am a bodybuilder. And I thought it'd be so nice to have a habit similar to that and I thought of martial arts. But at the time I was still back in UK, I'm in Thailand right now, but I was back in UK and I was doing kickboxing and I thought, wait, what if I got into like professional fighting, kickboxing, maybe like MMA and got into like UFC. And straight away my mind, like literally within seconds, I was like, oh yeah, like probably get close to the top of UFC. That's something I've never even considered before. But my mind, now you might be watching this, but that's not realistic, you can't just, but my mind had this level of like, yep, if I dedicate my life to it, if I train extremely hard, sure, why not me? I could get into the UFC, why not me? I have, a lot of people say it's arrogant, a lot of people say it's cringe, but I have this level of like self-belief and ambition that I really want you to adopt for yourself. Because I know this, this is gonna sound kind of cringe, you're gonna want like one of those Instagram quotes, but if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. If you believe in yourself, like full, full belief, that's when other people will start to see, you know, how much belief you have in yourself. That's when other people will believe in you. No one will, but certainly no one should believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. And believing in yourself is what ambition is all about. Ambition is just setting like some of these big goals and having this feeling like, yep, I can achieve that. You need that. As a young man, you need ambition. There's a hundred different reasons why, but the level of success that you want to achieve, where you want to end up in life comes from ambition. I'm gonna say something like, I hope you can take this seriously. Like I've made hundreds of videos. I've made hundreds of videos and I, I usually make them very practical, you know, specific steps of, okay, this is exactly what you do. I'm not gonna talk about any wishy-washy kind of stuff. Here's exactly the practical things. I love speaking like that. I promise you, some of the most important work you can do is on your self-image, your self-belief, your attitudes and your ambition the way that you think, the way that you set goals. That's literally some of the best advice I can give you is be ambitious. Just have, start like, start thinking to yourself like, yep, I can do that. Someone else has done it, so I, so I could. I could give it a try. If someone else has done it, I could. Sure I could. So ask yourself, so let's see how ambitious you are right now. How does your mind, like this is a very interesting experiment and you've never really seen this on a YouTube video, but what does your mind say? As soon as I, I say to you, for example, you could, you could get into the top of, the UFC, you could get into the NBA. What's happening in your mind? And just know, just know this, whatever your mind is saying to you is not the objective truth of the world. It is your subjective interpretation based on the experiences that you've had. You know, all those failures and rejections and like bad moments that you've had, plus the successes and accomplishments and victories. All of those small experiences that you've had combined together to form your mental response 
to things. You could be a millionaire in the next year. What's happening inside of your brain as you hear these words? What is happening? That's so, so interesting. Because if you're getting hyped and you're like, oh, oh, I could, I could consider that. I could, I wonder how I could become a millionaire. Hmm, how, what can I do for that? That's pretty good. If your mind is thinking, yep, yep, I will join the NBA. I'm already working on it, fantastic. You've got fucking potential. But if your mind, like the majority of young men, hears those words, something, you know, a man encouraging you, saying that, yeah, you can make it, you can do this, you can become successful. And straight away, your brain is saying, nope, I can't because of X. Just remember, that is not the objective truth of the world. That has to be like your brain is saying that, not everyone else's brain. What's interesting is that for the majority of young men whose brain is kind of self-limiting and says like, nope, I couldn't do it because of X. Those young men, their reason, their X, their circumstance that they use, which they say, okay, I can't be ambitious. I can't be successful. I can't have this accomplishment because of X. What's very interesting is that there's another man with that exact same circumstance, that X, that, that excuse, who achieved that level of success, race, height, genetics, social circumstances, political circumstances. There's a hundred excuses we could use. There's 500, a thousand excuses we could use. Why would we limit ourselves? Because it's easier. It's so sad to see young men who make excuses. And the worst part is when your brain is making excuses, your brain convinces you that it's not, and it's only other people who can see it's an excuse in you. It takes a great deal of self-awareness to know when you're making excuses. The majority of people, including me, don't know up until someone calls you out and someone's like objectively thinking, or even subjectively, but at least it's like someone outside of you subjectively is telling you like, no, I think your brain is wrong here. So you need to be ambitious. You need to start thinking more objectively. You need to cultivate some good friends who look at things without their sort of emotional bias and tell you whether or not something is like, applicable. So if I say like literally I, I said to Sam six months ago, I said to him, do you think a hundred million subscribers on the YouTube channel is, is achievable? He just sits in silence for a second and says like, yeah, that's the kind of goal that you would set. So yeah, probably. That's not a goal anymore. It was the wrong goal to set, but it's like we both had the belief like, yep, we, we could get a hundred million subscribers. We could mog Jimmy, Mr. Beast. We could literally mog Mr. Beast. We both had that goal. Now straight away, there are, look at the view count. 10, 20, 30% of people who are watching this part of the video will be like, no, you could never get to 100 million because videos like this don't get to 100 million. And Mr. B, just, just, why? The majority of people aren't ambitious because they have this like self-limiting belief because of circumstances, because of excuses. And it's never ever the acceptance of one's own capabilities, is it? No one ever says, oh, well, I couldn't get into the NBA because I wouldn't work hard enough for it. It's always, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not tall enough. Oh, oh well, I, I could never get girls because I don't work hard enough to build a level of success and, and attractive features. It's just, oh, I couldn't get girls because I'm short and I can't change that, so I'll just give up. My brain has been very, very ambitious for the last like one, two weeks. I've been travel. I think travel and like, you know, getting outside of your normal day-to-day -day life really helps with this. But I've been traveling around Thailand. We have motorbikes, which is such, a literally one of the best experiences of my life. It's just such a normal part of life here is just hop on your motorbike and like drive over to the gym. You've got music on, you're like getting hype and everything. I've been speeding, <laughs> I've been like, but it's fucking, oh man, it's so fun. And um, we've met some, me and my friend Sam, we're living together here in this villa. We've met a couple of really, really nice guys as well. They're really on our wavelength. And so, you know, we're getting into like a lot of deep conversations with brothers, with this, this sense of masculinity. And it's just made me more ambitious than ever. I've been working a lot less and kind of living more and experiencing life more and, you know, having more like contemplative thoughts. And the level of ambition that I have right now really impresses me. It, it's, it's too much for most people. So I haven't actually announced my sort of intention with the work that I'm doing here for fear of, of the response of Jeffries who will react to it and say, wait, that's cringe, that's gay. Oh, look at this guy, he's so cocky, he's so arrogant. It's like, do you, do you, want, you want me to tell you something? Which is sad as fuck, but like, bro, I've been called cocky and arrogant for all of my life. No, you know, no, 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 that's not even true. I've been called cocky and arrogant for the last six years. Before that, guess what? Guess before I, before I was called cocky and arrogant, before I had developed myself, guess what I was called? Nothing. No one would call me, no one would talk about me, no one knew me. I was invisible and I felt like it. So 
you can see like the choice here is to be invisible and not in that fucking like you know cool sigma male grind set kind of way but invisible in the thing of like you're not even fucking included in like people's sort of perception of like the people around them you know what I mean you're just an invisible kind of person because you're so insignificant that's the life that I've lived and the moment that I became more confident because I started going to the gym I started weightlifting gained some confidence because of that my, my body looks good I'm proud of it I'm proud of the effort I've done thousands of workouts I'm proud of that that's when I started getting called cocky and arrogant arrogance because I was ambitious. The truth is that the more successful you get and the more ambitious you get, you'll start to polarize people. Polarization means you kind of move people to more of the extremes. I'm kind of a, I'm a pretty polarizing guy. There's no one who really feels like, oh, Hamza, yay, he's okay. There's people who are like, wait, Hamza's amazing. Oh my God, like he's changed my life. And there's people who's like, wait, I hate Hamza. He's, he's X, he's, he's a bad person. He's a, he's a scammer. He's a, a fake, he's a fraud. Like the, you have to be on either of these. Either way, you're talking about me. Either way, you're watching my videos. That's the powerful position to be in. Ambition makes you polarizing. Don't be scared to be ambitious because there, there is a lot of people. I don't have to be entirely negative. There, there is a fair amount of people who will hear your ambition and hype you up with it and be like, oh my God, bro, that's amazing. Like you could do this and this, you know, you'll meet those people. And they're, so, they're such amazing people to me. But then there are also people who will hear your ambition and criticize you for it and pull you down for it and insult you for it, disrespect you for it, call it cringe, call it gay, insult you. So you need to experience that. Because to stay safe, and a lot of lot of young men prefer to stay safe. They prefer to not be polarizing. They prefer to not be ambitious. You stay hidden. So then you never reach that level of success that you could have had. You never rack up those accomplishments, which are so, so important. Like, as I'm learning more and more about masculine energy, I'm reading a couple of books on masculinity, and, and the best book is The Way of the Superior Man by David Dieter. I'm reading a couple of books on masculinity, and one of the things that just keeps constantly coming up is the importance of, like, racking up accomplishments. First Man, the YouTuber, he calls this putting points on the board. It's like that that means so much to a young man when we feel like we've accomplished things. Like imagine if you bullet point your list of accomplishments right now. Really do it, really, really maybe pause this video. Yeah, do that. Pause this video right now and write down your list of accomplishments. I've already been doing this practice. Like I've, I've, I already do this consistently. And again, this is like a very like arrogant, cocky thing to do. Oh, he's so egotistical. He's, he's reminding himself of, of the hard work he's put in. The first thing that I always write, so I write this every single day. It's called, uh, it, it's like a practice I've kind of made up. It's called accomplishment reminders. You might want to do this. It's called accomplishment reminders. Literally just a document on my PC where I just, I write in third person and kind of pretend I'm like my own hype man who's reminding me of the things that I've done. So I'll read you out a couple of them. A bunch of them are like very private things as well. So I won't read you all of them, but like, yeah. So the sixth thing that I wrote down for today, I write down every single day, like five to 10 things is, you have a great level of leadership so far. There are tens of thousands of young men who are totally committed to what you say. That's an insane level of influence and responsibility. This is going to be a global movement. It already is, but at a way bigger scale. Another one is, you've built a fantastic physique through years of hard work. You have awesome size and it's only getting bigger. So you can see I'm kind of like hyping myself up in third person, reminding myself of the things that I've accomplished. There's a bunch of things, I'll, I'll be totally honest with you, I wanna be like authentic. There's a bunch of things about women here, the, the women that I've been with, the um, <laughs> very like, some vulgar things, which obviously like, oh, well, you know, that's, oh, do you know what I mean? You can have a bad perception of it, but, I'll just be totally fucking honest. If you've had good experiences with women, especially if you've previously not had that. So if you've, if you've lived a life similar to me where like you went through most of your life feeling quite invisible to women and now you're actually starting to make really good progress. Just reminding myself of like this girl here, or this woman that I dated, this woman that I slept with and like how they responded to me. It, it hypes me the fuck up. Sometimes you need to remind yourself that because you kind of forget you are that guy. Me and Sam talk about this a lot where like our self image is lacking. It's like slowly trailing behind where we actually are. It's kind of like this. This is where we objectively are. This is where we think we are. And life moves like, you know, on self-improvement, it moves like this. The reason why there's this gap is because we've spent most of our life not on self-improvement, most of our life on productive living like Jeffries. And so pretty much we've spent 20 years, you know, with this poor self-image of a guy who like, who watches porn, 20 years of a guy who's just like flowing down the river of life with no purpose, no passion, no mission. And suddenly we've been on self-improvement for a year and two years. I've been on it for two years, so I'm maybe about a year now. 
So there is a gap between where we are and where we think we are. And it, this kind of practice, this accomplishment reminders, which I highly recommend you to do, kind of closes that gap. And the reason why this is relevant for ambition is because closing this gap and reminding yourself of the man that you are and the accomplishments that you've had is a result of ambition. You will close this gap. You will feel better in life when you are ambitious. So hopefully you already followed that sort of actionable step, which I mentioned just a few minutes ago, saying, okay, pause the video, write down like a bullet point list of your accomplishments. Look at that list right now and ask yourself, are you happy with it? Are you content? Sure, you're proud of them, of course, but like that list of accomplishments builds up who you are as a man. I'm really hoping for your sake, that list is fairly big. And it's probably not gonna be, it's not really that big for me. Sure, like I've been racking up more and more accomplishments recently, but it's not that big. I'm 25 years old, bro. There's a lot more accomplishments to be had. There's a lot more challenges to overcome. And this starts with ambition. You can see how important ambition is. It's, you know, online in terms of dating and attracting women, there's a lot of talk about like, which is the most effective thing to do? Is it, is it to have looks? Is it to be, you know, really attractive? Is it height? Is it game? Is it physique? Is it this and this and this and this and this? And of course, I think there's truth in all of them. I 100% I'm like, I think I'm, I have this balanced approach to like dating and improving your SMB that I think there's like this truth to like the black pill, the red pill and, and the blue pill. And the mix of them is probably why not benefit from all of them but there is something that isn't really talked about a lot and yet it's some like an experience that i've had multiple women i don't want to sound like a oh well, there's so many girls but multiple women have told me it, you know when we speak about what we're attracted to and we're in quite like an intimate moment so they could say other things they could say like yep you're attractive you're sexy you're, you're this and this and this one of the first things that are, that the last two girls that I've dated have said is the most attractive part about me is ambition. Now this is probably way more important for relationships. So if you're just into like casual sex, if you're into hooking up, then maybe it's not as important. But in terms of relationship, think about it from a woman's perspective. And of course, you know, you shouldn't really be ambitious just for women, but it's kind of like, bro, it develops you as a man and development as a man is what attracts women anyway. But just think about a woman who's considering you in terms of a relationship, in terms of, you know, dating seriously, and you're ambitious, and ambitious in the right way, where it's like, yeah, you've got some big goals and you're actually putting in some fucking work. That's incredibly exciting for her. It's incredibly exciting for your family. It's incredibly exciting for all of your friends, in yourself, including yourself. I literally have a card from the, the last girl that I dated seriously. She's back in the UK. I haven't really spoken to her much. I've been in Thailand and it was a bit of an awkward situation because we really really fell for each other like like a lot like fully fell in love with her and she fell in love with me just like a week before I came to Thailand and my plan here is like this trip has been in my mind for two years like literally the start of my self-improvement you know I've told this story so many times I lived with a previous like a girl that I, I used to date we lived together we had an apartment this isn't the, the girl recently this is like two three years ago I had a, a girlfriend we lived together we had an apartment but I was living like a Jeffrey life I was just smoking weed and everything you know what I mean and it was the thought of this particular trip that got me out of that bad part of my life because it was the motivation this was like the kind of like thing of like I was visualizing literally this exact life I was that's fucking ambition I didn't even mean to tell you this story like seriously I was gonna relate that to something else that's ambition right there I was in the darkest point of my life two years ago it's crazy to think like the life that that I've built in just two years, but two years ago at the COVID lockdown, I was literally doing all of the bad habits. I was waking up, smoking weed, eating junk food, <sighs> taking fucking just drugs, literally drinking by myself in, in the apartment. I was staying up till four. I had a girlfriend. I had a girlfriend in the other room. Like we lived together. I was jacking off four times a day and not even to like fucking pictures or to like, you know, Reddit or like, you know, some like normal porn to like fucked up shit, bro. I was like literally living like a fucking Jeffrey. And it was ambition that got me out of that because I started, you know, I, I thought, I dreamt of a better life. And I thought about a trip like this. I had been to Thailand previously, but not for long and not like whilst working or anything, you know, just saved up money. I went to Thailand with the girl that I was living with. And I thought about Thailand again. And I thought, I'd literally just think this vibe of like having a laptop, having a project, like an online income project to work on and really just enjoy my life here having motorbikes being able to like go to the coffee shops and you know buy like loads of like nice food and drinks and like just enjoy my life here it was the ambition of this trip that got me started on self-improvement and literally got me started on youtube i've said this before like what you see right now this is literally like a global movement i'm a very ambitious guy this isn't just a youtube channel this is a fucking movement if you see my instagram when i do like a meetup so every now and then i announce like the city that i'm in 50 guys come and see me and they literally like hug me with almost tears in their eyes and say that 
like their lives have been changed or saved from these videos. This is not like a normal YouTube channel. I am not a YouTuber. I am a leader. And then this is where the point where like now I'll polarize the people watching this. Some Jeffries will think that this is cringe because they, they just think that ambition is cringe. They think it's just weird. They don't have it. So they, they think it's so fucking weird. If you're ambitious, you'll hear this and you'll be like, you'll feel something inside of you seeing another man so ambitious saying like, yep, yeah, that is the way that I describe myself. Someone asked me what I am, bro. I'm a leader. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not like a normal fucking guy. I'm a leader. That's what guides me day to day. I slip up so many fucking times. I make mistakes. Of course I do. I'm still young. I'm still developing myself. I'm, I'm on self-improvement for two years, but I am a leader. That's the ambition that I have and like the goals that I've set for this movement. This is literally like YouTube is the start. This is not just a YouTube channel that's, you know, gonna be like, oh, rise up and get a million subscribers and fall down again. This is not a fucking YouTube channel. YouTube is simply the platform that I'm using to like convey my message as a leader, but we will expand. The cult will expand. I'm saying things particularly because I know that there's a bunch of Jeffries watching this who don't like me anyway. And like I said before, bro, the people who don't like you because you're ambitious, because you have this, you know, like vibrant personality, the Jeffries, bro, they will continue fucking watching you. I see them, bro. I see them like comment on every video of mine. And I'm just thinking like, you don't like me. You don't benefit from my videos. I see them comment on like every video. And I just think, okay, they don't like us. They don't even benefit from our videos. They don't, they're not part of our movement, but they come to every one of our videos to complain, to criticize, to disrespect, and worst of all, to belittle the people on self-improvements, the men who are trying to like make positive changes in their lives. You've got to be that polarizing person. I think the main reason why so many men aren't ambitious is because it can be seen in the wrong way because it feels a bit unnatural to do that. You, you can click it, you can literally just turn it on like this and be like, nope, I'm setting this big fucking goal and I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna achieve it, I'm gonna achieve it, I'm gonna achieve it. And ambition, now that I'm thinking about it, is something that is progressively overloaded. To that point two years ago when I dreamt like this visualization of being in Thailand, the ambition that I had at the time was to make like $2,000 a month. That's how much you need to like live here. Not in this villa, this villa's kind of expensive, but like, you know, just in general to like live a good life in Thailand and you know, live abroad and work online, make online income. You need about $2,000 a year. A $2, dollars a month and when i first started this youtube channel it was with that vision and that's how this whole thing started this was never really supposed to be a movement i was never supposed to be a leader i literally was just gonna make like basic ass fucking fitness videos just to you know make ends meet ambition got me started and sooner or later you know months into making videos and cultivating an audience and people are saying like you know some of the videos are changing their lives and that's when i started talking about like dopamine detoxing and not doing the bad habits and everything that's when i just got way more ambitious and i'm thinking wait this isn't just like basic ass videos that i'm doing like people are literally saying that this videos help them my life changed forever when i adopted more ambition for myself and i, I can't even explain to you how important that, that is. I spent the last couple of weeks not working as much, just kind of like living life and journaling and being introspective and having a lot of deep conversation with my brothers. And you know, there's that saying, like don't tell people about your plans, don't tell people about your goals. So I'm not gonna specifically reveal all of them because I don't want you to like validate them and give me dopamine right now. But the plans that I have are very, very ambitious. And it's so easy for someone to hear this and say like, oh, well, you're gonna fail. Yeah, yeah. I know what failure is like. We know what failure is like. Of course I'm gonna fail. My life is going to be full of failures. Of course it is. Any man who's, who says anything different than that is no man at all. My life is going to be full of failures. It's gonna be full of mistakes. And because I have the ambition to like work past all of that, my life is also gonna be full of success and accomplishments and rewards. I am certain this movement is going to be global. It already is, but I am certain that it will scale up. The impact that we have on the lives of the men of our generation is incredible. It's about time we see some like positivity, like some positive outcome come from like social media platforms like YouTube. It's about time that we have someone, do you know, like I was gonna make this video and, and really fucking give this speech of like, that is my goal is is to be like the leader of our generation that's that's an incredibly like that, that's the biggest goal you could really set and it's so easy right now there's there's a thousand people watching this say oh cringe oh you're the leader of you're not my leader oh, fair enough fair enough fair enough of course 100 percent of people won't follow me of course they won't but there are going to be like in our age range 18 to 30 right we're all roughly in the same age range there is going to be legendary leaders in our generation they will stand out very soon we will reach 
hard times. And that's when the strong men are needed. We will need leaders, strong men who can inspire and motivate and spread positive messages of growth. And I'm taking responsibility for that. There's certainly people who are better than me. There's certainly people who are more experienced than me, but I'm trying. Why not me? That's the level of ambition that I've got to. What you see in front of you, the success that we've built so far, that's all through ambition. I can't explain how valuable this is to implement into your life immediately to start thinking big. Read that book, The Magic of Thinking Big. Think big, think about the things that you truly want. Think about the sacrifices, the challenges that would be like truly magnificent for you. Your life begins when you start thinking big. You can subscribe to our channel if you want to. Did hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. <laughs> Yeah, we just ruined the video. Nice one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can subscribe to our channel if you want to. Welcome to the cult. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah. Oh, that was a fucking good-ass video.